deer culling. It's controversial and it's happening in various communities across the U.S. That's right, we said culling, also known as selective slaughter. It's not just rural communities that have a major problem with deer. Deer are also prevalent in suburbs where residents aren't allowed to hunt but where there's little green space and enough coverage for deer. Deer population boom is a recent problem. It's estimated that there are 30 million white-tailed deer in the U.S. compared to half a million in the 90s. Culling itself is also a relatively recent practice, and it's strategic. There are specific plans in place to cull for a certain amount of deer in order to reduce the overpopulation problem. This number is usually determined by deer per square acre. For deer in more urbanized areas, there are few predators other than your car. From mid-2011 to mid-2012, it's estimated deer caused over 1 million car accidents in the U.S. This led to 200 deaths and cost about $4 billion. Deer are also hard on crops and trees, the majority of their diets. And when there are too many of them in one area, the competition can make it hard for the animal's survival. Typically, culling happens during hunting season, which in most states also falls during the deer's mating season between September and December. There are a few different ways deer are culled, through lethal injection, sharpshooting, or trapping. These methods intend to kill the animal humanely. The city or police department that typically culls or hires companies to do it will ask permission if they plan on using your property for culling. And in many cases, the meat will be donated to local shelters or food pantries. And deer aren't the only animals culled. In Yellowstone National Park, bison are being culled. While that's drawn plenty of criticism, some argue that culling is simply another element to animal conservation. For Newsy, I'm Melissa Prax.